The Fox 44 Weather Forecast with Weather Rage Certified Meteorologist Emily Kay. Emily, another beautiful day. I feel like I keep telling you, I know. it's a beautiful day, but it, it really was. It really was. And there are worse things you could say. <laughs> another not great day. Yes, yes. And unfortunately, by the time we get to the end of the week, I'm pretty sure Adam and Mike will be having that exact same conversation, but opposite than what we've been doing. Yes, so it's going to be raining. It right? is. It's going to rain by Thursday. We're going to start to see those showers and storms moving through. But tomorrow, it's going to be a marvelous Monday. If we take a look at the satellite and radar across most of Texas, we do have high pressure off to our west, keeping us dry and clear here in central Texas. And again, no rain across most of the area. No clouds either. Just mostly clear skies here in central Texas. That's what you'll be waking up to tomorrow morning as well. And on Tuesday, we take a look at those high temperatures for today. They got all the way into the lower 70s and upper 60s. So it was a warmer day. It's going to be even warmer by tomorrow afternoon. Now, as we get into the evening, those temperatures starting to drop down into the 50s, and they'll continue to fall down into the 40s as we go throughout the rest of the night. Winds coming in from the north, not too breezy out there, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So, again, not too bad, making it a little cooler and a little drier out there with that northerly wind coming in. Your future cast for the rest of the night, however, Again, temperatures continuing to fall down into the 40s, mostly clear skies going into Monday morning, waking up to temperatures in the lower 40s to start off your Monday. So a warmer morning tomorrow than it was this morning. Still a little chilly, so you might want to grab that jacket as you head out the door. But you're going to want to shut it by the afternoon because, again, Around lunchtime, we're going to be seeing those temperatures into the mid 60s, and then by the afternoon, we're going to start to reach temperatures in the lower 70s before dropping back down when the sun starts to go down around 5 to 5:30. Temperatures dropping down into the 60s, and then getting back down into the 50s, and then back down into the 40s by Tuesday morning, Monday night into Tuesday morning, mostly clear skies. Another beautiful day on Tuesday, starting off our temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s on Tuesday, so a warmer day, and then by lunchtime, we're we're actually going to be seeing those temperatures reaching the lower 70s. So it is going to be a lot warmer on Tuesday than it was on Monday. Monday going to be a lot warmer than it was on Sunday. Temperatures dropping down into the 60s around 4 by uh, Tuesday afternoon. And overnight tonight, temperatures dropping down into the 40s, mostly clear, a little chilly out there. Not as chilly as last night, but again, it still is in the 40s. And tomorrow, highs getting into the lower 70s, mostly sunny skies. Those mostly sunny skies sticking around until Wednesday. Your seven day forecast, not looking too bad. Temperatures in the 70s for pretty much the entire week. And we'll start to see those showers and storms returning by Wednesday. A 30% chance of scattered showers and storms. Not everyone seeing the rain, but there is definitely that chance of seeing it. It, and there isn't going to be any severe weather in the forecast, just a few scattered storms in the mix. 75 degrees on Thursday, that 50% chance of rain going into Friday. That's because another cold front's coming through, and that will drop us back down into the 60s going into the weekend, and then drop our lows back down into the 40s going into the weekend. So we do have a cool down on the way, but not as significant as what we saw last week with that cool down. Those set, that seven day forecast for Bryan College Station looking a little warmer. Temperatures get Getting into the mid to upper 70s on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then dropping back down into the 60s over the weekend as that cold front starts to move through. Again, a 60% chance of rain on Friday, but no severe weather in the forecast. And we'll take another look at the seven day forecast in just a bit. Noelle?